Becoming a mom has been my biggest blessing and it precipitated many more shifts in my life. One of the biggest being my divorce and the huge move across the country back to my hometown of Atlanta, Georgia. I love it here though. We're surrounded by nature, even in the big city. We're closer to my family and friends and in a beautiful home that we can make our own. My life sped up and slowed down when I moved back home. Baby Jay has been my primary focus. And in the two years we've lived in Atlanta, she's quickly gone from babbling toddler to big girl who is shockingly clear about what she wants and who she is. Now that she's more independent, I have been able to rebuild a wellness routine that supports where I am in my life right now. I go to hot yoga many times a week, monthly acupuncture and massage are a must, and I'm still walking many miles each day. I've also started incorporating morning sunlight exposure, cold therapy, and meditation and prayer. And my relationships with friends and family are crucial to who I am and who I am becoming. Of course, the cornerstone, the foundation of my harmonious life is my healthy vegan diet, which has changed a lot. But despite those changes, which I'll share with you today, I feel like I'm my best self and improving every day. Good morning. I am back home. I just took baby Jay to school. Our days do start a little earlier than they used to. We have to be at her school by 8.30. We're always a couple minutes late, of course. Um, and it's always a lot of hecticness. Is that a word? It's very hectic getting out of the door every morning. But she's there and I'm home. And now that she's taken care of and at school, I can start my day. So what I'm gonna do, I don't like eating breakfast that much anymore. I used to love it and now I don't. And today's just one of those days I don't feel like making anything. I'm just gonna make a smoothie. So I'm gonna make a simple smoothie that is nice and uh, bulked up with protein powder, um, some almond butter, spinach, I'll put some blueberries in there, and that should last me for a couple of hours until I have to go to yoga. And then when I get home from yoga, I'm gonna really definitely be ready to eat. So that's what I'm gonna make right now. And then I'm gonna go outside, get some more sunshine, do my nails and relax a little bit more before I fully officially start my day. I think that was 30 seconds. <laughs> My face feels so good, even though that was a little bit painful. It wasn't painful, it's just, it's very difficult to do, to stay in there. In addition to the health benefits, the face ice plunge is also great for tightening your pores and relieving inflammation. Apparently it's also good for wrinkles, I don't know, but whether you need help with your skin or not, it is great for your overall health. And do this throughout the day. If you tend to get anxious a lot throughout the day, um, maybe have a hard time focusing, like me, one way that I can sort of reset myself is to plunge my face in ice for about a minute on and off uh, and go back to my work and I feel so much better. about to get dressed and have my lunch. I'm really hungry, but before I do, there are three products that I love and make taking a shower so much better. So the first one is Raw Sugar, their lotion. I also use their body wash, which is so amazing. These have the best fragrances and the best like moisturizing, smooth feeling, both the body wash and the lotion. This one is the green tea and cucumber, which I also used in the shower for the body wash. I'm obsessed. It's pretty clean, though not 100% clean, because all that nice fragrance does come from actual fragrance, not like essential oils. For my face moisturizer, I've been using the same vitamin B hydrating gel from Lotus Moon, and I will never stop. I've been using this since 2015 and my skin has only gotten better over the years. Not worse, better. And then for my deodorant, this Glossier deodorant, this one is the sandalwood. Oh my gosh, it smells, 
so good and it works really well. So this is the deodorant, the natural deodorant that I've been wearing for probably the last six months or so now. So since I just got home from you, <laughs> it's been saying replace the filter for six months. I will replace the filter. Since I just got home from yoga, I need to drink a lot, a lot, a lot of water. So I finished my big jug already. And now I'm going to give myself some of this. Um, it's like coconut water and higher, 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 higher hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid. So this is supposed to be good for your skin, but I also just drink it because it's very hydrating and because the company sent it to me for free and you know, why not? So I add this to my water and drink it and then start drinking more, 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 more water throughout the day. Mm. Ah, it tastes like coconut and berries. It's good. All right, now that I drink all that, now I can just have a tall glass of plain, slightly filtered water. Lunch today, leftovers. I'm gonna make a Buddha bowl. So I've got rice, sweet potatoes, black eyed peas, just plain, um, tahini miso sauce and kimchi. It's gonna be perfect, that's all I need. So I actually had this for dinner last night. These sweet potatoes, I roasted for an hour, so they have lots of lots of flavor. They're really caramelized and yummy. So I know I'm gonna like it because I had it for dinner last night. I do, think it's, I do think it's a little weird to do the black eyed peas in there. Not taste wise, just like conceptually it's weird, but it works, it's nutritious. So I like this type of meal, a Buddha bowl, because it's very nourishing. It's very full of fiber. Um, your protein's in there from your beans and also the whole grains, the sweet potatoes, nice healthy carbohydrate, complex carbohydrate which is great for giving yourself more fuel for the rest of the day. The kimchi, I mean, honestly, I use this for flavor and for texture, but also it is very nutritious. It's got a, it's got a great source of um, probiotics in it. So this is like an all around nice balanced meal. I'm not adding a green vegetable, but the kimchi is made with cabbage and there's kale in here too, all sorts of vegetables. So I feel like I'm getting my green veggies and healthy fat from the tahini sauce, of course. Very important. Et voila, that's my lunch. I tend to eat really simple, already prepared things like this, Buddha bowl, salads. If I was having this as a salad, I would massage some kale and probably throw in some romaine and then toss that with the black eyed peas, which I would probably air fry because wet beans in your salad is a little weird, but I would probably air fry those and then add the sweet potatoes and kimchi, and I would probably skip the rice. But typically, this is like the foundation of what I eat, whether it's a Buddha bowl or a salad, it's, it's about like this. <laughs> and it's really delicious and very healthy as well, so it's great. I love to sit outside and eat my lunch, but since I still haven't gotten dressed, I'm just gonna sit here right now at the dining room table while I work on some edits for my cookbook. So I try not to be on the computer while I eat. I try to do other things. So I printed out a few pages from the cookbook so that I can edit it without getting distracted by the computer. And then later I'll get dressed. I'm gonna do a little bit of a meditation before I get dressed so that I can kind of reset my nervous system and my, my, you know, my intention for the day before I get back to work and then go and pick up baby J. The day goes by so fast every day. Oh my gosh.
Okay guys, I gotta get back to baby Jay because she's in the room yelling for me. She's hungry, I gotta bathe her. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I eat in a day. And if you did enjoy it, please leave this video a big thumbs up. It really helps support my channel. And please also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Join me next week for one of my favorite recipes, for one of my favorite ingredients that I think we should all be eating a lot more of. Do you know what I'm talking about? Lentils, I love lentils so much. They are so nutritious and I think they should be a very important part of a healthy vegan diet. So I'm gonna turn you into a lentil lover just like me. Tune in next week for that video. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching. Bye.